um, so it doesn't really matter. You know, it's wow. just all about the sound, you know, whatever you can get it tuned to and whatever makes you happy. That's so great because I can't hit them if they don't sound good. You know? yeah, 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 they drive me bonkers too. You know, yeah. if I'm on a, I have a jazz tuning on a rock gig, I'm like, I'm afraid to hit my tom-toms. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> I love that you know those subtleties though. I mean, because we go way, way back. You know, I, I think you played in every concert I put on at Berkeley when I was a student. You know, I have pictures of you I'm going to show you next week when we get together. I, from all these different shows you were in and you were in my senior recital and, yeah. and yes. you, you have that, that, you know, like um, the story about when Phil Collins saw the ad in the paper to meet Genesis when they were looking for a drummer right under accordion player. It was an acoustic drummer. They were looking for someone who could be sensitive enough to come up with parts for their original songs. And yeah. you're, you're that kind of drummer. You're that guy. Like oh. you, you played in those original shows of mine and you played things that didn't disrupt me or confuse me or throw me off. You knew how to adapt and, and, and lead us and hold us together and make it groove in such a way that, you know, it just felt comfortable. And, oh, and I'm, I'm going to cry here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, those things are really important to me, you know, so. Uh, they are to me too. And I remember the, I remember the night of your, of the, um, of the recital and I remember how you you took the first set and you did all guitar and how you were playing pick on uh, an electric and you were playing um oh I can't remember I I, I don't remember but it Recorders. was recorders <laughs> yeah, all those it, crazy it, classical pieces with a pick yeah, yes and um and I remember you putting little flags on the on the neck of your guitar when you played star was it stars and stripes yeah. and <laughs> Well, you know, in those days, the senior recital for a guitar player was either you're a traditional jazz player or you're a classical player, traditional okay. classical player. And I wasn't. I was a pop rock player who loved the Beatles and wanted to write her own songs. And they said, you can't sing in your recital. And it's not a show. It's a recital. And you can't talk to the audience. And it's very serious. And you have to understand, we've never had any men finish this program. And they were throwing up before they went on stage. And so you're not going to be able to cut it. And all this kind of stuff from one of my teachers and I was like don't worry about it I played a lot of shows by myself before I even came to Berkeley like I put in my 10,000 hours on guitar before I ever even went to Berkeley I started I, at nine years old you know and I was doing all kinds of private parties and gigs and and solo guitar and vocal gigs and stuff so I wasn't afraid to do it but the requirements were so steep because it was half hour has to be solo 45 minutes has to be jazz 15 has to be classical and since I wasn't a traditional player with my fingers, it had to be with a pick. Mm -hmm. And now you can do anything you want. I'm like, what? I mean, people are coming in playing blues licks and graduating playing blues licks. It's like, what did you learn? What kind of technique did you develop? I yes. went to Berkeley to become excellent. I was already pretty great, but I wanted to be excellent. And I wanted to be, you know, like a supersonic musician. And I felt like that program dealt so much for my playing and the whole school experience in general. Like, what was it like for you? How did you start? When, how old were you when you started playing drums? And, and what, how did you hear about Berkeley and what brought you to Berkeley? 